Good morning, Drew Kearns here from TLC. This morning we're going to be talking about how to install a print driver for your Sharp multifunction printer. A particular device we're going to be doing this morning is for an MX3070. So we're going to start off by going to Sharp's website here. It's business.sharpusa.com. You can see slash product dash downloads. So from this website is where we're going to pull down the print driver. We're going to start by going to the product category. So this device we're installing is a multifunction printer. So there it is, MFP. Then continue down under products, and you'll see that all the devices Sharp has there are listed. As I said, this is going to be a 3070. And then we're going to go to file type. You can see drivers and utilities are what we're going to select. And then we'll hit search. And there we can scroll down. Um, I'm going to be installing the universal driver for a Windows computer here. There are many different drivers for Macs, Windows, um, but this is just kind of a generic one for general office printing. Um, if there are special uh, devices um, or needs that you might have, particularly for graphics, you might need a different driver. Uh, talk with your TLC rep to figure that out. So you see it downloaded there. I'm going to open it up here and and we're going to go through. Oh. Oh, not that one. You're going to click on the folder there. It's zipped up. I'm going to open this up here. And from this uh, folder here, we're going to go down to setup. You're going to double click on that and it'll start the driver download. dialog box will open here. You're going to choose your language, English. Obviously your uh, license agreement. Yep, I'm going to speed read through this. Yep, looks all good to me. I'm going to click Next. So there's two different uh, installations. You can do enhanced mode here. You can see basic mode. We're going to stick with basic mode just for this demonstration. From here, the best way to do it I see uh, typically is to go to search for MFP. So if you're on the network, you'll be able to find it. Click next through here, and it's going to start searching. As you can see, it pulled up uh, the Sharp multifunction device we have here, that 3070. I'm going to choose the one with the uh, IP address next to it. You see we have it uh, loaded up there, 30.201. Yours will look different, most likely. Hit next. I'm going to continue through the screen. So right here you could click a, a test page if you wanted to just to make sure you're completely connected but uh, I'm pretty sure I got this right so I'm going to go ahead and finish here. Now if you want to check just go here and uh, go to your control panel on your Windows machine and then from there you can click hardware and sound you'll see devices and printers so go ahead and click on that oh, and there you can see it my uh, Sharp Universal Driver is installed right there and then you will see here it set it already to default that's because I already had a load but um, if you want to set that as your default printer go ahead and uh, right click on that and say set as default and that's the uh, easy way or the quick way to go ahead and download a universal driver for a sharp multifunction device